Our planet has a huge trash problem. Every year, we create billions of tons of garbage. This trash goes to landfills, where it harms our land, water and air. This problem is getting worse very quickly. Its effects are very serious. We need to find better ways to handle our trash. We need to change how we use things and find new ways to deal with our garbage. Earth is running out of space for trash. Time is running out. We need to act now before it's too late. It's important for our planet and future generations that we find a solution. With such a huge trash problem facing the world, people are looking for big solutions. One idea is getting a lot of attention. Dumping our trash into volcanoes. Volcanoes are like nature's incinerators, right? Their molten lava can melt rocks, so it seems like a powerful way to get rid of trash. Imagine, we throw our garbage into this fiery pit and it disappears. It sounds like a great idea, but is it really? This idea is definitely interesting, but when we look closer, we see some problems. Let's explore the science behind this fiery idea. Volcanoes are amazing natural wonders, but the fire inside them isn't as simple as it looks. Lava is melted rock that comes out of volcanoes. It's a hot mix of minerals, often over 1000 degrees Celsius or 1832 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat can melt many things, but that doesn't mean it's a good or safe way to get rid of our trash. Not all lava is the same. The makeup and thickness of lava depend on the volcano. Some lava moves slowly and is thick, while other lava flows quickly and is more fluid. The type of lava affects how well it can burn and break down trash. When trash meets lava, it's not just about melting. It's a complex mix of chemical reactions, which can have unexpected and sometimes dangerous results. Lava's intense heat isn't the only thing to think about. When trash meets lava, it doesn't just quietly disappear. It goes through many chemical reactions, some of which can be very dangerous. Many types of trash contain materials that release toxic gases into the air when heated. For example, burning plastic can release harmful chemicals like dioxins and furans, which can cause cancer. These gases can travel very far, polluting the air and creating serious health risks for people and animals. But that's not the only danger. Some materials can react with lava and cause explosions, throwing hot debris and toxic fumes into the environment. Remember, volcanoes are unpredictable and very volatile. Adding human-made waste to the mix is asking for trouble. Section 5. Environmental mayhem more than meets the eye. Even if we could safely throw trash into volcanoes, it would still be terrible for the environment. Volcanoes are connected to their surroundings. They are part of ecosystems where many plants and animals live. Burning trash would release toxic gases and particles, which would harm wildlife and pollute the food chain. Trash could change lava flows, disrupt natural water flows, and cause flooding and erosion. The land around volcanoes, which is often home to unique ecosystems, would be damaged. The long-term effects on biodiversity and the balance of these environments would be devastating and difficult to reverse. Section 6. The Carbon Footprint of Trash Travels Dumping trash into volcanoes might seem like a simple solution, but it's actually very complicated. First, think about how much trash we create around the world. It would take enormous energy and resources to move that much trash to volcanoes. Imagine endless lines of trucks, trains and ships all using fuel and creating pollution just to get the trash to a volcano. This would create a huge carbon footprint which would make climate change even worse. Plus, not all volcanoes are good for dumping trash. We would need volcanoes that are active, easy to reach and far away from where people live. This makes the idea even more difficult and unrealistic. Section 7 Sustainable Solutions – Turning Trash into Treasure Instead of burning our trash in volcanoes, which is dangerous, we need to think differently about waste. The best approach is to create less waste and reuse and recycle what we can. We can use new recycling technologies to turn trash into useful things. For example, 
waste to energy plants can turn trash that can't be recycled into electricity. Food waste can be composted to make good fertilizer for plants. By working together and using smart technology, we can manage waste in a way that's good for the planet. Section 8. A Global Challenge – A Collective Responsibility Trash is a huge problem for the whole world. We all need to work together to solve it. Countries should share ideas and tools to better handle waste. It's very important to teach people about the environment. Everyone should learn how to reduce waste and recycle. If we all take responsibility, we can make the world a cleaner place. We have the solutions, but we need to change our thinking and our actions. We need to stop throwing things away and start reusing and recycling more. Section 9. Our future. Our choice. Our planet is covered in trash, and it's a big problem that we need to fix. But we can still make things better. Instead of dumping trash into volcanoes, we should use smarter ways to handle our waste. We can make the world cleaner and healthier for everyone in the future. It's up to us. We can keep harming the environment, or we can choose to do things differently and make sure our planet stays beautiful and healthy so we can live happily with nature. It's time to act now. Let's make the right choice.